Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And good evening, everyone. Sounds like a great destination here. Memorial Day weekend setting up to be slightly wet. It means there are some rain chances. It doesn't look like a washout. Once we get past Thursday, the rain chances start to go down just a little bit as we head into the weekend, but they're still there. Right now, certainly some rain chances. Scattered showers, thunderstorms dotting Storm Shield radar here this evening. We'll zoom in on a heavier shower right now that's headed toward Tulsa in about 22 minutes in Sepulpa in around 28 minutes should arrive in Sand Springs at about 10 minutes. Not severe, heavy downpour, dangerous lightning associated with it. Maybe even a little bit of small hail if the farthest west storm out towards Stillwater could hold together. Meantime, we had another stronger storm move across Latimer County into southern LaFleur County. That is now on the weakening trend and rain is also falling right now in northwestern parts of Sequoia County, southern Adair County. Meantime, showers and thunderstorms now blossoming out here in West Texas. This area is under a tornado watch until 10 o'clock tonight. That may become a thunderstorm complex that could impact an early round of golf tomorrow, but by 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. we should be drying out with south winds. Temperatures up to about 78, but once we make it to the noon hour, more scattered showers and thunderstorms are again possible. High pressure is moving away. This is the boundary that continues to really kind of be a, a helping focusing mechanism for these showers and thunderstorms across central Kansas into west parts of Texas and of course Oklahoma with the dry line extending down from that low pressure area north and west of Woodward. So here we go with future track this evening and we have the rain here and we'll put that into motion. Then you get the scattered showers and thunderstorms track across southern Oklahoma overnight tonight. Then tomorrow morning more showers and thunderstorms approaching from the west and from the northwest. And so tomorrow afternoon we have the chance for showers and thunderstorms here also out to our northwest and look at that that cluster moves across and into our area by Wednesday morning and then that moves away. Wednesday looks like a primarily dry day. Thursday could set up to be our stormiest day of the next seven as we try to get rid of the upper level storm creating all of this. A severe weather outlook tomorrow. Slight risk west of Tulsa. Tulsa is at a moderate risk. We'll zoom in here and you can see Osage County, the western edge of Pawnee County, just slip in to the slight risk. And then Wednesday it shifts back to the north and west. Northern edge of Washington and northwestern parts of Osage County in the slight risk. But most of this covers central Kansas, east central Kansas, and most of the state of Missouri for Wednesday. Today's high just 72 degrees, morning low 63, 81, and 61 are your averages. Pollen counts go like this. The only high pollen we have right now, the grass pollens are counting on the high side. Mold is moderate. Midtown camera, lots of clouds outside, 70 degrees currently. The winds are east at 9 miles an hour. The barometric pressure 29.89. So this evening, we should find some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and it will become partly to mostly cloudy. As we head through the 830 time frame, the temperature may actually raise to 73, then overnight rain and thunder possible. But again, it could be out of here fairly early by about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures low to mid 60s, Tulsa around 69 overnight tonight. McAllister may be around 71 with south winds at 5 to 10. Forecast for tomorrow, warm and muggy to start the day. Scattered thunder moves back in around the noon hour. Temperature at that time 78. We're in the lower 80s tomorrow afternoon with scattered thunderstorms possible. High temp in Bartlesville 81, Sky took 83, Okmulgee and Shakota around 82, Okima around 81, Stigler right around 82, and Henrietta also up to 82 degrees. Here's the seven day forecast. More thunderstorms possible Wednesday, just a 20% chance though. Lead could lead to our warmest day around 87. The yellow light on for Thursday may be our strongest thunderstorms of the week. Friday, still some thunderstorms, and then the chances start going down as we head to, toward Memorial Day a week from today. Two Works for You at 5 continues right after this.